my name is Todd Hoagland. Uh, I'm an associate professor at the Medical College of Wisconsin, and I earned my PhD at the University of Notre Dame, the branch campus of the IE Indiana University School of Medicine. Um, I still remember when I first took my gross anatomy class and I used the Netter Atlas, and um, I, I can still remember Dr. Netter's beautiful artwork and how inspired I was as a student, and uh, I'm really thrilled to be a part of this project. I've always thought that the, uh, the Netter Atlas of Human Anatomy is the gold standard in anatomical sciences, and so I, I have a hard time even comparing it to anything else because I think it's so spectacular. I think the, the beauty of the Atlas of Human Anatomy is that Frank Netter was an MD, and he was a brilliant artist, um, and therefore he was able to figure out what the most important clinically relevant issues were in all the various plates that he rendered and he was able to go through and draw them spectacularly so they were pieces of artwork and they stood alone for art itself um, and then if you really had an eye for the anatomy you realized that they were done uh, flawlessly and you could you could pick out very um, big picture things and you could even find all the minutia so for the beginning student he had this excellent way of simplifying things that were very complicated but yet maintaining the richness in its complexity at the same time. So the student can appreciate it and learn from it very easily and the master educator, the, the master anatomist can look at it and find all the intricate details that you would expect in a, a really high level atlas. So it's, a, it's awesome. I had a, an initial run where I wrote my own anatomy lab manual and that taught me all the ins and outs of timelines and milestones and how to get the content right and match content with, uh, with images. But I was the chief cook and bottle washer so I did it all myself with some help with some, from some students and it was all black and white pictures and relatively simple text and then when I was asked to join the Netter team. It was a fantastic opportunity. So it, it was a no-brainer in my mind. It, well, I gotta admit, when I first got the, the message, I thought somebody was playing a joke on me, and it took me a little while to actually um, to, to understand that they really did want me to do the, the work, and it's been fantastic. Medical school has changed radically in the last 10, 20 years. There's a lot more information now than there ever was before. And you have to study every day. So what I'd recommend is that um, in an undergraduate environment, most medical students are so bright that they can, they can go long periods of time without studying and study for a couple days and do really well. And that's just impossible in medical school. And people realize that often too late and so what I'd recommend is uh, give it everything you got as soon as you start medical school and study every day and as much as you can tolerate and there's a lot of sacrifice that goes into medical education um, but it's worth it and bond with your classmates um, it's a lot easier to go through a lot of sacrifice when you know it's a shared sacrifice and there's others going through it as well you can uh, be more successful at the hidden curriculum which at every medical school there are things that you're told and there are things that you're not told and the expectations are always there and if you have a wider group of friends and colleagues you can figure all that stuff out. I'd also recommend making sure that you have outstanding resources with you and the cool thing about the Netter Atlas is that we now have a, an app for the iPad or for the iPhone and that's been one of the greatest learning tools that I've heard from our medical students. Ones that adopted the, uh, the app last year, they use it all the time. Most people chose to buy the book, but we had a smaller subset that chose to use the app as well. And now what they realize is anatomy is ever present in medical training. And you're always trying to remember what that structure was. And people that have their iPads and they're using the app, they use it all the time. And their, uh, their friends are jealous. <laughs>